Well, hello there, tribe. This is Stephanie in the Soul Sister Monarch channel. How are you guys doing tonight? It's Friday night. Freaky Friday. Hope you guys have had a good day. Okay, so we're going, I've just been doing the signs um, through the Zodiac Wheel. That's how we're doing it. Just for the weekend to get it going. So, I already put up Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries, and Pisces. So, now we're going to do Gemini, Taurus, and hopefully, depends on how long it goes, we can throw the uh, Cancer in. Okay? So, the overall kind of energy I pulled at the very beginning for the last reading was about trust. Okay? This is like trust in yourself. This isn't necessarily romantic trust or trust um, in someone else. It's like the trust you have within yourself. The trust that where you're at in your life, you trust that you're in the right place for yourself. You trust that who you are, where you're at, you are moving in the right direction. Um, trust you have good boundaries. Trust, trust that the temptations or the past patterns that used to pull you in a direction that wasn't good for you. Those things, when the when things come back around to test you, you won't cave. Okay? So, that's what that trust is about. And love. Love, love, love. Right? Okay. So, when love is invited to take over, the right actions... Hold on. I need my glasses on. The right actions arise at the right time. Allow me, dear divine, to wait patiently until the timing is right. Let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. Okay? So then, I was like, shuffling the cards again, you know, each little deck. Hi, Mimu. And I thought, okay. I'm just going to shuffle each one again. And then, we'll flip them over and see what we have going on. So, the first deck was the star seeds I grabbed here for you guys. Flip it over. Trust the timing. <laughs> Look at that. How perfect, right? So, Gemini's. Trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Trust is not... I mean, the time is not running out, okay? The time is not running out. So, that's something that you guys are dealing with. Now, when I was shuffling this deck, a couple cards came up. There's something going on with a, there's a couple things going on over for a couple of you some of you are having an identity crisis okay um some of you are figuring out who you are who um that what you thought you stood for or the image you've created or the persona or the mask you've been wearing um it's not you and maybe you don't like it now. Maybe you've done some things that you're upset with yourself about. But the the most important part is that from these cards right here so far, um, you, ha you have the opportunity to change this. If you don't, there are going to be some changes as I was shuffling in cards. I could, other cards I've seen and as I was channeling, getting downloads. Um... I don't think you'll be happy with the outcome. Let me just put it that way, okay? Somebody has stole something from someone that's important. A couple of you, it's different things. But let me finish going back to where I was about this identity thing. So, I explained the one situation. Another one is there's been some kind of um, identity, identity theft and fraud that you guys are involved in, okay? That's for another situation. Um... And then there's another situation where somebody is, it's not that this, this other person hasn't stole or uh, tried to be somebody else or committed fraud in someone else's name, but there's someone else out there that is just obsessed with somebody. Gemini. There's someone you're obsessed with and want to be like, and this is driving you crazy. This is this. It's driving you mad. 
okay? This obsession's taking you over. It's not good for you. People are seeing it, and you, you've got to let it go. Megan, calm down. So, somebody's really uptight. Somebody's wound one of you, okay? So, Meg, put it down. We'll put it down. Somebody has been called, okay, to get in their purpose, their soul gifts and their training. Somebody's been actually working on this. So one of you has really <laughs> took the step forward. You took the call and you're moving forward. Come on, cards. Hmm. However, we've got one of you out here is playing with stuff you shouldn't be. And you're going to create a... <laughs> the volcano card just came out, so you might as well... It's a tower. Yeah. And we got little busy bees in the background. We've got, little, we've got lots of people... Little worker bees out there causing problems and trouble. Yeah, the rebellion card. So, mm, mm. somebody is trying. Okay, we're back to this. No, oh, okay, here we go. There's a couple situations already. We're in their little ugly heads. Yeah. There's a house that they're uh, stolen inheritance from. There's a property, contracts. The, the last one that just uploaded, go watch that. There's a hedgehog. Somebody likes hedgehog. Hedgehogs. Um, also... <laughs> Going back to this other, so there's a group of people that don't want another person to feel like they belong in society. They don't want this person to feel like they belong any, anywhere. They don't want people to look at this person in a good manner or to see this person in a good manner. Um, they just don't. It gets under these people's skin. It, and this one person, I said, that's obsessed with this other person. It's making them mad and crazy. So when the hedgehog is here, guys, it's all about vulnerability, but it's also about hiding things, okay? But a porcupine, I mean, not a porcupine. That's weird. Hmm. So we got porcupine energy here too, apparently. So, because the hedgehog is, resem resem I mean, one of the things behind a hedgehog is tenderness okay the hedgehog tends to hide their heart their feelings not to show someone how much they care but they also hide things keep things they want things to stay hidden in the background but then you got this porcupine energy here okay you got this porcupine energy here it wants to just poke poke prod Love in reverse. Love in reverse. There's this dark energy here that's involved with this family that these secrets. What you guys want to do, this person? Feels like it's my damn story. My own family. <laughs> Someone else, too. But anyway, there's no love here. These people don't love you. No, they don't. There's no love. No, you have took your power back. You're standing in your power. You just, you know what it is. You, it, it, so this is the thing. There's a lot of trickery here in the background line. Okay, you got tellism backwards. <laughs> more things that were, more things, objects, things that were yours that were taken from you. More. Okay, there's a Leo involved. Strength, upside down. These people don't have strength. 
They're, they're just, instead of making things right, these people are so busy trying to come up with another plan to do something to you, send someone to you to get you off your path, do something to you to try to make you look in a horrible manner. When it, 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 It's just old. It's old. It's just so old. We are all so over this. Like, you know what? They want to ruin your reputation. They want people not to see you in the light that you really are. You're probably like me. You're probably the sweetest, kindest person in the world would do anything for everybody, but then you're fierce. And you're you and you stand in your power and you believe in yourself and you're confident. And so then people turn that into that you're not nice and you say what you think and you stick up for yourself. And so then that makes you, you know, aggressive. That makes you um Oh, that you, you know, you attack people that you don't, I, it's, anyways, I can just feel this energy what's happening to you. I can hear all these people talking, arguing. They're just telling stories, stories about you, but these stories are not good stories. These are stories that they're making up. Trickery is the next card. Yeah. All about your foundation. They're just knocking it down, ripping it apart. They want other people to change their perspective about you and see you in a completely different way. <laughs> yeah. See, you're in this humanity. This is you standing in your purpose. You're healing. Yeah. But then there's danger in the background. Yeah. They want to send someone in to come back in. Be careful. They could send someone in to do something to something you drink, okay? The, the cards are here. The cards are here. I can't lie about it. The cards are here. The cards are here. The cards are here. So, anyway, there's danger, drink, elixir, the ill, like, really, like, yeah, no. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, you know, this is not good energy. I mean, the, it could be a friend they're sending in. This person did something to you in the past. This person wants forgiveness. But it's not real. That's the thing. You know it. I know it. Anybody that comes back to me, for, like, there's, you really, you're not sorry. You people had so much time to make things right, and you never did. I can feel your energy. You know this. You can feel a building. It's driving you nuts in a way. It's not driving me nuts. I've been through this too many times. I give two shits. They all do whatever they want. This is not bugging me. I am not losing sleep over these people. Trust me. No. But this is justice in reverse. They did an injustice to you. And they don't think they're going to pay for it. Oh, no. No, this is definitely your family. Six of Cups energy. This is a motherly energy or sisterly aunt, cousin, niece, daughter involved. All of them, they're, they're sorry right now, but they're not, I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, there was a union in the past. You were supposed to have with somebody and these people got in the way. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Money. People were paid to do things. Just so you know. Wow. Yeah, people were paid to do things. So, that's what happened. It's coming out, though. So, you need to trust in this. Now, there's fire sign energy. There's earth sign energy. Uh, there's like a queen of wands energy. It's over. They might not realize it. Some things have come out, not everything all the way. There's decisions people are trying to make. They wanted to bring an offer forward towards you. They wanted to send someone towards you. Um, you know, <laughs> all these people are in the reverse, though. Everyone's in the reverse. Yeah. Mm. Two people partnering up. Behind the scenes. These people are losing their faith now with this deal, deals, everything, it's going wrong. 
Yeah. There's an earth sign, king of pentacles energy here that was involved. Paid money. You're just sitting here, though, collective. <laughs> this is you. This is you. You've made a total commitment to yourself. You're owning it. You're loving it. You're living it. You got this here, though. This is past energy that you were involved with. Oh, yeah. He's full of shit. Look at him. See that? He's in the reverse. <laughs> He's played out. This player is played out. He needs to park it permanently. Park that wand permanently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Death and rebirth. <laughs> no one wants that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. He wanted to get over to calmer waters. They all did. Their secrets, their lies, everything's coming out. For sure. Empress in reverse. That person was pregnant. There's a bunch of lies connected to all that. We're not even going to get into that. That's an earth sign. Oh, sorry. There was spirit. Clarify. Earth sign. Hold on. Libra, Taurus, Capricorn. Not a Virgo feminine, though. Aquarius and a Gemini. Okay. And, well, hmm. someone had an abortion, too. Someone lied, said they were pregnant, and there's one person out there that they think they're the dad, they're not. Yeah, it's your friend. It's your actual friend's kid. This feminine energy played around with a lot of things, like Book of Shadows. Um, she probably, like, downloaded spells and things off the internet. I mean, I don't know. Kmart, you know, witchery. I don't, I don't know. You know, all a dollar... Um, stuff to go home and cast spells. It, yeah, it's just, yeah, it just reeks of somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, playing with stuff that really un ended up hurting them. Yeah. And this person doesn't realize that the stuff that they were doing <clears throat> was all coming back to them. Yeah, they didn't get the results that they thought. Yeah. This person created a lot of masculine energies behind the scenes fighting over them. This feminine energy likes this attention. Her destiny's in reverse. I mean, I told you what she's playing with. She's trying to swap with somebody else. Yeah. Chakra's all out of balance. There's nothing here aligned with this individual. She's sick. Something else is going on with her besides all this other stuff. It's not just mental. She loves having guys fight over her, though. Loves, loves, loves. Loves, loves, loves this. Mm-hmm. For some of you out there, all these, these two men and her and friends and that, they all, you know, had little orgies or uh, threesomes, foursomes, you know, strap-on fest. I don't know. It's just whatever. Whatever. Destiny's in the reverse. I mean... All right, this is it. There's a king. King of Wands here. He's upright. He's a part of this group. <sighs> He's out of his head, though. He's not feeling bad about this anymore. He, 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 he went into timeout. Gathered his thoughts. Gathered himself. He's coming back. He's coming back. 
That's him. He's gaining ground again. He's he's lit that spark underneath of him. Yep, he's lit that spark. He's not in his feelings anymore. He's not feeling bad for himself. He's not feeling regretful. Yeah. He's up right now. He's done some things he's not proud of. I keep hearing shameful. He wants victory. Okay, collective. So there's someone coming back. It's an earth sign. It's an earth sign. It's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They want victory. Oh, boy. Hmm. There's a problem, though. You got a crone in the background. So there's more than one person that was playing in the dark arts here. I don't know. You got involved in some really shady ass shit, man. Yeah. Shady. Big time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, there's just too many people here. Feels like The calm before the calm before the storm. So I feel like someone's gonna drop a bomb here on some people, and somebody's aiming an arrow at somebody, and it's not a good arrow. Someone's angry. Someone's mad. This person feels like somebody's taking their person. This person. I said there's somebody out there that's so, this is that obsessed person. Their perception is all off. They do not want this masculine. This person has come out from underneath whatever they were under with this feminine energy. She had this mask. This is who, see that? In the reverse. So this Queen of Wands energy that he hooked up with. Yeah, there's no, there, there's not going to be moving forward. There's no new beginnings. Nope, 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 nope. No. He's burned out on her. He sees it for what it is. He knows. She's not going to give up, though. No, nope, she's sitting back there. You better not have dirty feet, little girl. Um, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let that one go. All right, Geminis, we got to move on. Let's move on. All right, what do we got now on the bottom? Hmm. Well, somebody's been working hard on themselves, Taurus. Yeah. We're not going to make it to the cancers because I have something I got to do anyways. So I'll have to get on later or tomorrow. Well, hmm. We got a king of water in reverse. King of cups in reverse, huh? It's either that or you guys are in that energy. That's not good. Not good energy. Oh. Mmm. Well, we have a Virgo here that one of you is dealing with. So, all right. Shh, got a devil. Got a devil. So, got a Capricorn energy too here. Here too for some of you. So, Taurus is. <clears throat> some of you are, have either gone through something and it has just blown your mind. It's bent your mind. Like, <laughs> to no return, I hear. Okay? You're not getting over this anytime soon. You're not going back to this person. Oh no, you're in revenge mode. You're full on revenge mode. There's definitely a Scorpio here because someone's unhinged, off balance. You're numb. And like I said, you're in revenge mode. That's for one of you out here. That's a Taurus. Then, one of you Taurus is upright. You're all balanced out, okay? Here's that King of Cups in reverse. You're not in your head. You're over whatever happened. Whatever, 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 whatever happened, okay? But you're dealing with the King of Cups in reverse. 
or someone in your family. King of Cups in reverse. And if they're not a, if they're not like a King of Cups, then that's the energy that they're in. But this person's unstable. Okay. This person's got like a demonic thing going on. This person doesn't feel like they, I keep hearing they don't belong. Okay. And then I look down spirit, spirit of place. This person is playing with spirits that they shouldn't be. Okay. This person is not riding the wave. They're going against it. They're using water magic. Yep, this devil energy right here. This person is a sage in reverse. This person is using, using dark art, more dark art stuff. Man, I'm getting so sick of this energy. I wish it would just stop. We are all so over it. God. <sighs> Magical map shifter in reverse. Mm hmm Yeah. This is playing with Akashic Records. This is trying to take someone's destiny. This is trying to um, siphon off people's energy, harvest off their energy. This is trying to cloak energy. This is trying to go in and do things energetically, spiritually, um, through rituals and different things. And... This magical huh, map shifter person is shifting everything so it appears like it's you, collective. It's not them. Mm hmm Yeah. This is a real dark, dark person. They've been to your house. This person uh, has something in your house that they have. Um, I just heard the word installed. Listening device for someone. Hmm. You're supposed to go somewhere and they're supposed to stop you. They don't want you going forward. This person doesn't want you to have any options. They want you to feel depleted. I keep hearing the word desolate. But then this, you know, it's weird. Then this person's out there telling people hmm, that you have all these options. Hmm. Wow. They're sending stuff to your home, too. They're sending energies to your house. Dark energies. So... Hmm. Someone here isn't cleaning house. So, have that in the last reading. You're not taking the garbage out permanently. The garbage is weaseling its way back into your door. And then you've got energies that are coming up through everything. They're coming out of your damn walls. Wow. Wow. This, uh, these people are attacking your dream state. They are trying to take your spiritual wealth from you. Whatever gifts you have, they're trying to make them theirs. Oh, well, that caused a breakup for somebody. <laughs> that shit's over. <laughs> wow. Well, collective, those of you that are in the upright, <laughs> you know how to do spiritual baths, okay? You know how to take care of yourself in, in that manner, okay? You guys have no problems with that. Yeah. This is just a joke, so I wouldn't even worry about it. I'd let this go. Just don't... Look at it this way. Anybody from your past that did you wrong? You know they did. They harmed you. They didn't do you good. <sighs> Just don't let them back in to do it to you again. You know? 
if people are if they're if they're pro poking you prodding you delete them block them and then if they don't stop well then i guess you have to get a, a protective order right do what you got to do but i'm telling you some of these people just want to come back because they've got big problems Big, big, big problems. Everything's coming apart in their lives for everything that they've done. Just like the Gemini. These two can be very much related, possibly. But um, there's somebody, they, they went to somebody to do something. They've hired people here to do things. It all went left. It all went left. Everybody was so happy. They thought that they had, you know, I mean, partied, lived it up. People were spending people's money. It wasn't theirs. Everybody was having a great old time. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Just flying high. Having a great old time. Yeah. Didn't care. Not a care in the world because everybody was told this person would not find out. Mm-hmm. Something's going to happen at Easter. Something's going to come out over Easter. Somebody may try to cause a scene at like an Easter gathering that um, some of you may get invited to go somewhere and then it may be where somebody tries to provoke you to act out in a certain way to do something in a certain way that'll make you look in an unfavorable light, you know, for others and they can go, see, see, look. These people are all connected, and they're all upset now. This King of Wands is very mad, okay? Very, 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 very upset. I did say King of Wands. I did, didn't I? I meant King, King of Cups. I think the King of Wands and the King of Cups have been very upset with each other. I think at one point they had some deals together going on behind the scenes, okay? Someone thought that they had the golden goose egg. And they thought nobody was ever going to figure it out. And if they could keep this charade going, all the lies, all the deceit, that people wouldn't figure it out. Well, people figured it out. Especially a couple of you. A couple of you are really smart. You are not dumb. You know what's going on behind the scenes. And some of you turned away into this kind of an energy. And this is working on yourself, clearing yourself out, knowing how to do it, when to do it. This is also using this energy to fight against dark instead of dark against dark. You know that your light, your beautiful energy, the flowy energy, there's magic there. And it's way more powerful than any of the dark that can be sent towards you. This masculine knows this and it makes him mad. He's mad. I mean, look at him upright and then look at him upside down. Okay? Can you imagine that? <laughs> oh! He's stuck. He's stuck, he's unhappy, he's angry, this masculine. Yeah, this is not a happy person. No, not by any means. This masculine is not happy, okay? I mean, this person, however he's living, he's living in chaos, he's living in filth, he's living in clutter, he's living in um, illusions, he's delusional. Um, phew. He's holding on to things that remind him of the past that are keeping him even in a worse headspace. I mean, this person can be holding on to, um, besides mental stuff from the past, he can be holding on to things that are, are um, super sentimental to him. And it's driving, he looks at these things or he sees these things or he holds these things and it puts him into a place that is mentally making him more unstable. He's attracting broken, more broken people to himself. And he doesn't want to be around broken people, but he's attracting that. <sighs> this is a, you know, he, he's afraid. He doesn't want to let go. Let the universe take hold here. You know? 
And for some of you, you let a certain person from your past back in. You walked it out. You you cleaned, you cleared your house. You cleared it out, man. You took the garbage out. And I said, it. you let it walk itself back in. It slithered in. It weaseled in. However it got back in, it got back in, okay? And, and this person is of a mindset, like this King of Wands now, that not, there's never enough. There's never enough, okay? It's a t holding onto a tight grip of to, to, to something that they think is security, that they think is a better place for them to be, that this is the right thing for me, but they know really deep down inside it's not, but it, they can't let go of it. It's, that, it's, it's obs that obsessive feeling to hold on to misery. And it's like not feeling, knowing that you should have blessings, knowing some could come to you, you just got to get it together better, right? But then there's a part of you that creeps up and goes, no, you don't deserve that, which isn't so not fair. This person is just torturing themselves. Ah, oh. there's fear going on. I said, you know, lack mindset. This person shuts off their flow of abundance to themselves. Just shuts it right off. I mean, this is the golden palace, man. Look. You know that saying? Chop wood, carry water. Yeah, not this person. No, this is Netflix and chill in bed all day and drink and pop pills and I don't know, whatever this person does. They may have a sex addiction and they're just watching porn all day Why whoever they live with goes to work. This is really a person that is down, down, down. There's someone's dealing with this. This person has tantrums. They have really bad trust issues. They have giant... Um, ups and downs all day long and then you have all these other things that they're doing that's making the ups and downs that much worse and then this person sleeps sleeps for hours on end and then just gets up and starts it all over and this person is manipulating you collective that you let back in and somehow they make you feel that you're at fault where you are definitely not, but this person is getting in your head in that. But, I mean, look, it's a dry desert with this person. There's nothing good here. It's dry. It's dry. You won't get growth. Look, gentle gardener in the reverse. No. I heard back off. Somebody is telling somebody, I can hear him, back off. This person will stay on when they're in trouble and they come back from wherever they're at and they go through whatever they go through and you know they're in the wrong. They, I, I feel like they corner you almost, tear you down, and you cave just to get them out of your face. But then there they go again having the control and no, taking zero accountability for what they're doing to you and they you are left doing everything i can feel that you get you're left with everything whoever you are you've been having pain down your left arm i can feel them yeah it's not good something's going on with your shoulder too the top you you have a a rotor cuff is somebody's got a rotor cuff issue. Yeah, somebody out there's got a rotor cuff issue going on, man. Maybe somebody just had surgery, but some somebody's rotor cuff. It's your left one, too. It's not your right, okay? I mean, this is the field of dreams in reverse, okay? Uh, I mean, build it. They will come. This person, they want everyone else to build it and then come and then they're going to reap all the rewards and take advantage and then leave. This is a person that it's time to clean up or help with anything. They get a stomach ache. They get a headache. All of a sudden, they'll even hurt themselves to get out of things. This person doesn't want any of your dreams to come true. They are blocking your dreams. Uh, that's all I can say. This person is creativity stopper. This is a 
This person sucks the life out of you. This person makes you exhausted, collective. All right. Let's see. Run through this one more time. They give you a villain. Give you a fairy card. And then I got to go. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I said, remember I said something's going on? Body. Body. Somebody's got something going on. Endurance. You're going to have to have endurance. There's somebody that is messing with you in the background, playing with stuff they shouldn't be. Yep, here's the volcano. Mm-hmm. Transformation, though. You're going to go forward. But just know, I you don't, don't even pay attention to this person in the background that's trying to harm and hurt you. And definitely, you need to protect yourself at night when you're sleeping. This person works at night. Yeah, they play with the Book of Shadows. This person wants to bring temptation to the table. I heard... Hmm. It's interesting. I was watching this video today on all these different plants and how a bunch of them have been put into different vaccines and things that I'm just so against anyways and um, how they harm and hurt and kill. Well, I know because I worked in a nursery for so long. And it was just weird because I look, as soon as I was looking at this apple, I get this vision of someone's injecting this thing with something to, to harm somebody. And they're devoted to this plan. Somebody's devoted to this plan. Like, oh. the claw again. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's playing with things they shouldn't be. And like I said, somebody's got a book of shadows or somebody's on the internet, just but they don't know what they're doing. <sighs> this is ignorance, man. This is this card represents ignorance too, okay? <laughs> this person knows that what they're messing with and what they're doing, that they don't know what they're doing. They want revelations here. They want to see into the future. They want to know things that they don't know. They want to control things. They want to change things. Playing with this and working with this gives them some kind of like false hope, but it's it, it is what it is, okay? It is. But then, like I said, you got the apple here. I told you what I saw. Um, the apple also represents sex. It represents temptation. Um, it rep represents hunger. Um, like, thirst. Like, oh, that kind of thirst. Not like thirsty. Thirst. And lust. And hunger. Hungry. I mean, but it's a lustful energy. I'm telling you. Something with this apple. I don't know. <sighs> You're going to transform, though. But there, there's going to be a tower. There's going to be an explosion. There's going to be like a drum bopped. Bopped. Bopped? Hmm. I don't know. Bopped. But... This has to do with the lustful energy, okay? Something's repress somebody's repressing something as well. You guys are having exercising patience though. Something's gone on here. But remember, the body. We already talked about that. The shoulder, the arm, the left arm. Um, but there is somebody in the background. They are diligently working away. They, you're going to need endurance to fight this stuff that they're doing behind the scenes. It's not good. No, no, no. You're going to transform, though, from this. They won't. You will, collective. But this person is very, very devoted to harming and hurting you. And um, just, I heard sucking the life out of you. But... There's a friend <laughs> that wants forgiveness for some really shitty they did to you in the past. Yeah. It involves another person that you know. Yes, of course, right? Mm-hmm. This is ripping their damn soul out. 100%.
Here's the soul card. This person's having a very, very, very hard time living with themselves of whatever it is that they decided to do here. So let's get just some villain cards and then fairy. And we got to close this out. Boy, you guys got a longer read than I guess I might as well have thrown in the cancers. But we got going here. There was a lot. Oh, boy. Those people, those cards burned. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, they did. They stuck together. No. Oh. Well, they always have meaning when they have battle wounds like this. I have a couple sets of cards that I got when, um, so at one time we had three dogs and, and Tobe is, I love Tobe. Anyways, I had so many decks when he was little and I'd pick them up and there'd be teeth marks in them. And so every time I see one of those, I just smile. Little Tobers. All right, here we go. Let's do Taurus and Gemini. What do they need? Who's the villain in the background? The Taurus and Geminis. Who's these villains out here? I see somebody's trying to do magical prayers, I hear. Magical prayers. They did magical prayers, spirit, for the Gemini and the Taurus that been sent out there because someone's doing it. I just saw it. King of Wands energy here. Hmm. Are these good? Positive, negative, what do we got? Hmm. Well, this person's definitely... Hmm. I don't know. I'm on the fence here. Hmm. Give me more. Woo. All right. Hmm. Well, your intuition is on fleet, okay? Your intuition is on fleet. There also is a high priestess in the background. Queen of Cups. It's not a Pisces high priestess. It's a Queen of Cups, okay? Hmm. This person is demented, twisted. This is... Ooh. This is like an energy that would like you to ask him what could be one of the best shows that you could think of. You, you could win tickets to like some kind of show, uh, talk show to go on. She'd choose Jerry Springer. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> She's probably been on there before. I'm not kidding you. Mm-hmm. This person likes to play lots of mind games, this individual. Mm, yeah. It's a witchy, witchy, devilish energy, this, this feminine. She's, ooh, twisted. She's hooked up with the King of Swords. He's really a Knight of Swords energy. He's really angry. He's plotting behind the scenes. But someone wants to send this energy in collective. So however you're related to this or if you're involved, it's not going to work out. No, no, no. There's a Leo involved here. People are stuck making plans, trying to figure things out. Spirits here, though. Yeah, here's that Leo, King of Wands. This person's feeling really boastful, okay? Feeling like they've got this in the bag. They have a partner in crime. Their partner in crime is also a Leo, feminine energy. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people pointing the fingers at her right now, though. She's not liking it very much. No. No. No, 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 no. These people made a lot of deals with people over drinks, over just hanging out. They made they made a lot of deals with people.
they got excited for a while. They thought that for some of you, <clears throat> some of these people wanted to cause an actual death to somebody in their own family. Some of you, that King of Wands is transforming and going forward, making things right, pulling their head out of their ass. Mm-hmm. That one, he doesn't want to do third-party situations and be stuck there in this energy anymore. He is right now, though. Yeah, because he's he's got certain people from the past that keep pulling on him. He's, he's barking, though. <laughs> he's like, what? <laughs> this masculine's turning. Is, is like, I'm done. I ain't no more. He's, this is, he's got the whole coochie crew is calling him. They all take turns calling him, calling him. Where is he? Where is he? You see. And they send out a group little text to find him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's out rolling around in the Knight of Wands energy right now. He wants a new beginning. He's a fool, though. Spirit is everywhere on top of this. All over this. Okay? Queen of Wands in reverse, she's going to transform no matter what, or there'll be something not good. I, I that, that left pain, it's all every it's all gone now. It was happening for a reason. Mm-hmm. Somebody's gonna end up in the hospital if they're not careful. And collective, you guys have been working really hard, really hard in the background on yourselves. You have a lot of good things coming. If you've kept your heart intact and you haven't been out there hoeing it up, you know, and just being a rotten scoundrel, you have, and you've been working, I mean, working, working, working on yourselves. You have this coming. And this, look. It's beautiful. And those that want to stay, and their south node, and they want to keep this just train going of bullshit, of lies, deceit, and they want to come back because they think they they just they they can't handle the fact that they have to make good on what they've done. They can't handle the fact that they've done some really awful, awful, horrible things, and they're awful people. You mean like you and they because they've squashed you to death. They've tried to destroy you. They've done the unthinkable and they can't handle the fact that maybe they are way worse than you were collective. Yes. So anyway, it yeah, they they can't handle. It. They can't handle. It. It's it's just too much. It's look. I says they can't handle it. I split the deck. Picked up all those too. Anyway, split the deck, sad embrace. That's what they get. And there's definitely a home involved in all this. Because that was the next card. Home. They screwed you out of a home. I know all about this shit, man. Yeah. Now they want you to rescue them. They want you, Collective, to rescue them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. No. 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 Okay. A couple fairy cards. Gemini and Taurus. You know, it's funny because some of these people with their families, they have people in their families and these people have done things and these people have done things worse than you collective and these people are being held up as good people and i know it's frustrating for some of you horribly frustrating and you don't know you you just can't comprehend all this so let it go spirit keeps telling me to tell you let it go let it go let it go flourish that's what you guys want to do okay that is going to be I feel someone out here wants revenge. So what? the only thing I could tell you is your best revenge is to go live your life the best you can. That's hard sometimes when so many horrible things have happened and some of you keep having several more things happen. But remember this. 
the lotus flower fairy tells you to learn from the experiences and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others did you hear that or those of others that's gonna help you more than you think hint hint <laughs> You guys are going to find something that you have not been able to find in a while, okay? Yeah, you are. What was once lost is about to be found. Thanks to the lost and found fairy, sometimes she can help us find things we never, ever realized were lost. Use that power. A bunch of you, you have felt drained, you felt tired, you haven't felt good, um, and you you think something's wrong with you, and there's nothing, but you just can't figure it out. You're taking vitamins, you're doing different things. Some of you feel like you're sleeping too much. Some of you, it's the opposite. But no matter what, however it is for you, your life energy force is being, so blockages are being cleared out for you, okay? It's like meridians are going to light back up. So the happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life, giving energy to you. She reminds you to shine your light and to, re uh, to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Okay. There you go. And go outside. Go outside. That will help too. Okay. All right. What else? That one's on the ground. Ugh. Motivation. Come together. Okay, so we got the motivation fairy here. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. There, If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. Okay. And coming together. Well, there was somebody that was trying to block someone coming together. And they tried hard. They did a good job for a while. But you know what? There is love here with two people and nobody's going to get in the way. I can feel it. So two people are going to come back together. It's great. Yes. We're going to have precious time together. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to the, make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either. So you and someone collective are going to have something real, real special coming up. Yep. Remember I said go outside? That was the next part. Go outside. Okay? Out there, you're going to connect. And you and this person that come together might be going outside and hanging out. Okay? But come together. Fairies like to be busy. And a group of them are showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. There's something you need to get done before this there's a person coming into your life, okay? You and this person both might might like stargazing, okay? You're being heavily protected right now because there are people that are going to try to stop this, block this, make it not happen, okay? I just, I don't understand why people need to do this stuff. It's so beyond my comprehension. It's like, why would you even want to be with somebody if they didn't want to be with you? I don't get that. It, it like... Are you not embarrassed to be with someone that doesn't want to be with you? Why would you hang on? Oh, so annoying energy because it's just like, it's desperate. It's, it's, it's a pathetic energy and nobody wants to feel that way. And so if someone makes you feel that way, don't let them walk away. Don't allow them to put you in that space and don't hold on to that person to disgrace you. I guess I'm getting mad because I feel like, Someone's allowing themselves to be in a situation where they're humiliated, they're belittled, they're... I heard someone's being traumatized. I mean, ugh. Anyways, protection. You're, you've got protection, though, okay? So they're shielding you with this magic... It's a magical fairy ring of love that you can't see it. All the colors of the rainbow, okay? And they practice. Mm-hmm. 
It's psychic protection too. Okay? But they're they're pushing you. You need to work on your spiritual side more. You need to get your your spiritual practices moving. And when you do, they're telling me that you need to call them in for that psychic protection. Because someone out here isn't protected up when they're channeling or they're doing things and they're getting attacked. And you don't even know it because these energies are coming in. And then you're doing certain readings. These energies come in. Then you quit reading and they're not detached from you at all. Nope. You're, you're taking them everywhere around with you. You're sleeping with them, showering with them. I heard consuming you. Okay. Call them in. Tree wisdom. Okay. This tree dry, dry, dread. Ah, druid. Hmm, dryad. It is a dryad. Will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. Oh, she's a dryad because she's a, she's one of the little the the like the young ones, like the teenage ones, like the yeah. Wow. Someone might might like to play the flute, the harmonica. I heard the trombone. Bugle? Bazooka. Huh. Look at that. Anyway. And I told you, someone and you have an interest in stargazing. So there's definitely you and someone that definitely, definitely has an interest in stargazing. All right, collective. Um, I was going to throw at you a message, but I don't know where that deck was. It's weird. It was here. Hmm. Hold on. No, we'll just do this. We'll pull a message out of my book here. We haven't done this for a while. All right. Let's see. Where did we, where are we going to open? Okay. Dance while you can. I will quiet my soul, silence the noise in my head and heart, and ask myself what I really want out of life. And this is actually really a beautiful one. All right, guys. We're going to end it there. So have a beautiful weekend. Be happy. You know, have some fun. Enjoy your time off this weekend, guys. Be good to yourselves. All right, I'll get some more readings up. Take care. I'll see you on the flip side.